Senator, no, no, point let me just excuse me for a second. No one's saying this is going to eliminate every single killing, but we do know we're the only country that has wide access to these kind of weapons, and no one else has the frequency or the intensity That's of these kind true. of mass shootings that we That's do. actually not true. That France true. had a higher casualty rate in one year than the entire two administrations of Barack Obama, and they're a fifth of our population. But, George, here's the biggest point here. We're talking about banning firearms, and the discussion is about banning all semi-automatic firearms, and that's really the discussion. Can we actually look at what could have prevented this? That firearm did not walk itself into the school. An individual who was allowed to go unchecked by the Broward County Sheriff's Office allowed that firearm to go in the school. This is not the fault, nor are five million innocent law-abiding Americans culpable for this. And many of us are parents too, George. I want to see as much attention on the Broward County Sheriff, the FBI, the two FBI tips, and the numerous calls. George, I'm not a member of the FBI. I'm not a member of law enforcement. But I'm going to tell you, if someone is online using their name saying they're going to shoot up a school, if they're banned from school because they've taken bullets and knives in their backpack to school, if they've been sending messages saying that they're going to shoot and kill their classmates, that to me sounds like a potential school I'm, shooter. I'm not going to argue with Family that. Family and I neighbors called the Broward County Sheriff's Office to report this individual, and they did not follow up. Not that is more, the headline. Could not agree more on that point. That is certainly a fact here. That no is what, that's what minimizes this. That's what minimizes casualties when it's we follow the, up. It's one of the